Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Midwest Market Solutions Early Market uh, Insider Commentary. It is Wednesday, August the 24th. Thanks for joining us here. All right, we uh, did go short corn yesterday for our speculative accounts. Corn was down yesterday. It's down overnight. We kind of broke out of the little trading pattern that we've been in, and uh, I think we've uh, posted our late summer highs here, and we're going to work our way lower into harvest. Now, the Pro Farmer Tour that's ongoing is not uncovering great yields so far, and we're not surprised. South Dakota, Nebraska, and Western Iowa have uh, had very tough growing season, very wet during the spring and very dry during the summer, just exactly opposite of what you would want. So yields are going to be down in all those areas. That is not a surprise, and uh, tour results are better in Indiana, and they will get better as they move into central Iowa and uh, Illinois, Minnesota area. So it will improve through the next couple days, but so far the market's taken this uh, news in stride and has actually worked its way lower. Being six to seven cents lower overnight, we're still in that demand versus supply situation right now, and I think the demand is starting to fade a little bit. We have not heard rumors of any sales over the last several days, and that is a contrast to oh, last week where we were here every night there was a rumor going around about China buying soybeans. That's not been the case. We did not see private sales yesterday. I don't think we'll see another one this morning. So could see a little softer soybean action. Of course, wheat's really fallen here uh, since last week where it rallied. Minneapolis was the big upside leader. The disparity or the premium structure September had over the December contract has really been taken away over the last two trading sessions. And Chicago wheat's at contract low. So changes there going on in grains. Uh, in the cattle, we could be forming some sort of a little temporary low here of support. Cattle made a 38% retracement. This pullback in feeder cattle feels crappy to me. I'm like, we should take another run higher. And uh, I, we're going to look to try to buy some feeder cattle today and spread the live cattle market for our spec accounts. So if you're uh, a speculative account and want our recommendations, you can sign up to receive our exclusive daily uh, trade recommendations and newsletter will give you our entry points, our targets, stop losses, everything you need to uh, know on our trading uh, recommendations.